Um, ben, it's an absolute displeasure to see me standing. <laughs> well, it's absolute... I will get to my question, however. Thank you for coming uh, anyway. My displeasure. Now, I'll repeat the, the question that I, I sought to ask you. Um, you have recently been discussing a lot about the history uh, of the occupation of Palestine. I will call it that. I know you will oppose that, but I will call it that. The occupation of Palestine. The whole thing, right? Just to be clear? The entirety of Palestine. Thank you. You okay. may accuse me of genocide if you wish. That is not my position. Sure. But... And I will, but go ahead. <laughs> anyway, so the, the point about the occupation of Palestine, you have released multiple videos. You have uh, essentially made it made yourself the cheerleader of Israel in a lot of sort of Western media spaces. So I watched some of your videos about the conflict and I found uh, a number of inaccuracies. First of all, you describe in 1920, you refer to Jordan as part of Palestine historically. That has never been the case. There has never been a state of Jordan. British mandate Palestine, yes. That is still not the case. Jordan has never been part or considered part of Palestine. The only part, only time that Jordan has been considered adjacent to Palestine is part of sort of biblical mythology where Transjordan was a reason. That's wildly inaccurate. The that British, man, the British mandate was had a mandate over Please, all of Palestine continue. and then they separated off Transjordan and handed it to ben the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. You will get your chance to reply, let me finish. Now, my second <laughs> point, my second point, the second point that you have phrased constantly and consistently, and it's quite a popular Zionist talking point, is the fact that the Arabs have rejected peace every time it was offered to them. Now, I would like, of course, there's been multiple times where peace has been offered, so let's discuss some of them. The Peel Commission. The Peel Commission entailed expelling multiple Arab families and multiple Arab communities, largely agrarian, from the land in order to create a Jewish state under a colonial authority. Now, I understand, of course, you are a Zionist, so you believe that's desirable. But for the Palestinian farmers, I can imagine they would not have enjoyed that. Number two, you mention that the, um, um, what's it called, that after 1948, the Arabs had the chance to negotiate and make peace with Israel. Apart from the fact that in 1956, Israel invaded the Sinai in Egypt, unprovoked, purely due to the fact that President Nasser nationalize the Suez Canal. Then you claim that the 1967 war was a war of extermination. But if you will read any trusted and respected